In this video, I will show how to use Desmos.com to explore function transformations. Where if g of x is a transformation of f of x, we will be able to explore how the values of a, b, c, and d affect the graph of the basic or parent function. For this exploration, we will let f of x equal the square root of x, and let g of x equal a times the square root of the quantity b times x plus c plus d. Then we'll have sliders to change the values of a, b, c, and d using desmos.com. So the first step is to go to desmos.com and click start graphing. In number one, we'll enter y equals sqrt for square root, and then x, enter. And then in y2, we'll be graphing the transformations of this function, so we'll enter y equals a times sqrt, and then b, open parenthesis, x plus c, close parenthesis, right arrow, and then plus d. And notice how we have an option here to add sliders for a, b, c, and d. We click all. Notice the intervals for a, b, c, and d are from negative 10 to positive 10. Let's change this from negative four to positive four with a step of 0 0.25. So we'll click on the negative 10, enter negative four, tab, four, tab, 0 0.25, and the same for b, c, and d. Click on the negative 10, negative four, tab, four, tab, 0 0.25, and so on. Now to begin, we want both graphs to be the same. So we want the blue graph to be y equals the square root of x. We need to set a to one, b to one, and c and d to zero. So we have a equals one, b equals one. We'll change c to zero and d to zero. And notice now we have the same graph. We can also click on the wrench and click projector mode to make the graphs thicker. And then we click anywhere on the graph to close that menu. So now we can change the value of a and see how it affects the graph. Set it back to one. Change the value of b see how it affects the graph, set it back to one, change the value of C, see how it affects the graph, set it back to zero, and change the value of D, and see how it affects the graph. After you explore these transformations, you may want to review the following notes. Here I have some notes on reflections, here I have some notes on vertical stretches and compressions. And here are some notes on horizontal stretches and compressions, as well as shifts left, right, up and down. I hope you'll find this helpful.